recording, yeah? I'm recording. Right. We are opening the lock up. Sugar. <laughs> Shows how ines inexperienced I am. Uh, she said you pull this out, I think. Oh god, I can't remember what I'm doing here. The thing at the top. There we go, yeah. that's it. That's it. Keep pulling. God, it's hard. How do we pull this thing? And then, you're ready, you've not seen it. I've not seen it. Oh my god. It's, it's big. Half a spare room. It's, it's pretty big. It is. Can you get it on camera? Is it capturing pretty good? Well, you stand at the end. Okay. Yes. Yes. We're moving on up. <laughs> pretty big. I'm happy. So we've just picked up a, an auction hall and what I'm doing is putting, or what we're doing I should say, is putting the, basically the things I don't want to list straight away, or no sorry, the things I do want to list straight away into the lockup and the things I don't want to list back at home with me so that then um, I'm forced into listing the things I don't want to list first really. So that's what we're doing now. You'll probably get a better accurate representation of size now with that in there, I mean that's pretty uh, big box there, and as you can see, it's pretty pretty big. The storage lock up. Um, so yeah, I've got all the things I do want to list in here. So I've got the metalware. I've got this is really really nice. I'll bring it to the light. Actually, it's a um, set. Let me focus it in a bit if it'll even focus. Not really focus very well, but it's like a, a mermaid, a brass mermaid. Really cool on some sort of tray. I really like that. And um, then we've got jam pan, some trivet stands or something down there. And then a load of like Eastern glassware. Uh, I've had loads of these before. Like uh, what's it called, like chargers. And then glass candlesticks, pretty standard. Just fairly standard stuff, but stuff that I quite like listing. And then inside that box, is like just loads and loads of um, Disney, like Disneyo, I think they call it, or something like that. Just collectible Disney magazines, Disney books, things like that, and all sorts of different stuff. And then we've got some postcards in there. Um, but yeah, pretty happy. And then inside here, we've got some uh, glassware, some silver plate, I think that is. And then this is pretty cool. Mandy doll dressing suitcase thing, which is pretty cool. And then we've got in here. What are you putting in there now? We're I'm not just, putting any more in there. No, no. I've put plastic bags. And then we've got some other random bits of pottery. Oh, try not to dent it. Um, and yeah, we've got just some random other bits of pottery. I won't get it out, but it's quite nice stuff. Um, and then over the other side. I've got some postcards. It was a fairly small auction hall, to be honest, but I just thought I'd give you a quick overview. Um, yeah, I bought some postcards because they were going cheap, and I've never dealt with them before, so I thought it's a learning experience, if, if nothing else. So, yeah, that's that. Oh, can you not lock it? No. <laughs> it's difficult. I need more muscles. It is hard. I don't know why it's so hard. Like really stiff. Yeah. Oh, have you got it in there? Thanks. So. so you have that little pin in there, and you have to get it in so that then it locks it properly or something. And then you have to slide that across. Across there. I think so. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Done it. Done. Oh. Properly lock it. Yeah. Uh, no. Help if you get the key out. No, it would help if I could get the key out. Ah. There we go. Awesome. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's a lot. Sorry, I know I said I was done with the video, but I thought I'd just show you this. Sorry, it's not focusing. There we go. Um, so I got this in the charity shop yesterday when I went to view the auction. It was down from a tenner to a fiver. And uh, if I just focus that in, I don't know if you're going to see that very well. But it says uh, Welsh Royal Crystal Lead Crystal. And it's really, really nice. I just really like the look of it. Focus that in again if it will let me. There we go. But it's really, really lovely. It's not got any chips or anything to the rim there or into the inside of the stopper. Just get this off carefully. 
not get any chips or anything to around there, which is really nice. There we go. Um, but it's just it's just really lovely. Now I don't know anything about glass. I just looked on complete and solds. There wasn't like this exact one because with antiques and collectibles you can never really find the exact one. Um, but similar ones, you know, they'd gone for like 30 quid, something around that range. There was even, I think there was even one that had gone for like 50, 60 quid, but it was a little bit different, as I say. Uh, and then there was one listed for like 50, 60 quid, so I don't know where I'm going to go with this, but absolutely lovely. I really do like it, and it's my first kind of foray into glassware, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, quickly tag that onto the end of the video. Also, I found that in uh, an auction, one of the auction boxes that I just showed you. Uh, it's Capo de Monte figure. Man on a Bench. I quite like that. I mean, that's not the title of a figure. I'm just calling it Man on a Bench because that's kind of a good name for it. But, yeah. I really like these. I don't I don't know why. I just like them. I think they're cool. Probably people. some people might think they're a bit scary. But I just love... You can really see there's work gone into it. You know, I mean, look at his waistcoat there. It looks so good. I just really, really like it. So, yeah, that's that. And then if we... Turn it over, we can see there, Capo de Monte, 36, I imagine that 36 is like a, I don't know, design number or something like that, maybe someone will uh, drop a comment down below to let me know what that is, but it's going to be something like that, so yeah, that's quite nice, really like that, there's no like ding, you know, dings or cracks or chips or anything that I can see, however... I've not gone through it completely yet, so, and it was sat in a box, so if there is one little chip, you know, it's obviously understandable because it's been sat in that little box, um, but yeah, that's quite nice, I really like that, so I will say bye there, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like down below, and if you want more content, then please do drop a comment down below with what you would like to see, any video suggestions or any anything like that is vastly appreciated. And I will see you in the next one, so see you very soon, guys.